This is an Ender 3 Pro. Now, unlike most of my other printers, this one is mostly stock. But today, this one's going to be getting a very special upgrade, because after spending a few years with the Ender 3 Pros and upgrading the ever-loving crap out of these things, to the point where the only stock thing is the frame anymore, uh, I've come to realize that there's really only one significant flaw with this particular printer. And that's the Z-axis. Particularly because, well, these things use cheap lead screws for the Z-axis. And these cheap lead screws lead to a number of issues that will show up in your prints. I've been experimenting with a number of different lead screws and lead screw designs and what have you to try and fix those issues. But today, well, something became available on the internet that I just had to absolutely try because it's been something I've been wanting to do for a long time now. It comes from a company called Chowthink. On Amazon, you can get this kit for about 60 bucks. And what it does is it allows you to use a ball screw instead of a lead screw. Now, one thing to note about ball screws is they're not inherently better than a lead screw. And in fact, they can be a bit more finicky because they don't bend, they don't give, they're very rigid, and they don't like being out of alignment in any particular way, shape, or form. So you got to get these things made just right. There's printable versions of adapter brackets and stuff you can get on Thingiverse and printables to make your Ender 3 or Ender 3 Pro use a ball screw instead of a lead screw. But this kit is proper. It's made with metal components and it has everything we need to do this upgrade so that we can move away from a lead screw and a lead screw nut to a proper ball screw. Now a thing to note about ball screws is uh, this one is probably a cold rolled low end ball screw, probably ungraded. Proper ball screws that are graded and are not cold rolled or properly machined are exceedingly expensive. And that's probably why we don't see them on cheap 3D printers. This whole kit being 60 bucks is nothing compared to the price of a proper ball screw. This ball screw setup, if it was like a nicely graded one, could be upwards of $1,000 just by itself. But we're going to see just how good we can get utilizing what we have in this kit. So out with the old and in with the new. Let's turn this bad mamma jam on. Now I'm running TH3D's firmware on this machine. So changing the steps per millimeter on the Z axis is very simple. I'm going to show you how to do it. We go into settings, configuration, advanced, steps per millimeter, Z steps, and we bring this all the way up to 800 because the lead on this screw is about twice as much as a standard Ender 3 lead screw. And just like that, we're good. New configuration, store our settings, and then let's auto home our machine. <laughs> all right that's not bad it's not bad let's move the gantry all the way up and make sure there's no binding i haven't checked anything yet About 195 everything's moving pretty good It's not loud either. You can't hear the ball bearings in the ball screw doing what they do. It's running smooth, man. This is this is pretty sweet. Unlike a normal lead screw, 
ball screw shafts do not flex. They are made of a very rigid metal. So you have to get the alignment just right, but it's braced very nicely. Just making sure we go up all this way on the gantry. Not bad. Not bad at all. All right. It's time to do a print. Let's start with a vase mode. All right. Let's try a print out and see if we have any issues with our Z-axis. So after a few hours, it looks like our print is done. That's not bad. That's pretty good. Now granted, yeah, it's in vase mode. So there's not really layer lines because it's just one continuous go through. But I'd still say that came out just swell. I've been waiting for a while now for a proper ball screw set up for the Z-axis on the Attender 3 Pros. And I gotta say, for 60 some odd bucks, this is pretty good. It is significantly better than using just a traditional lead screw in my opinion. So far, the company that makes this setup only sells a single Z rod or ball screw setup in this configuration, but supposedly, they might be coming out with a dual Z-axis ball screw setup in the near future. So, if that happens, that one is going to get set up, not on that near stock Ender 3 Pro, but my linear rail setup, my, uh, my very, very heavily modified Ender 3 Pro. Because a ball screw setup would be the piece de resistance for that particular printer. So, all I can say is ball screws are awesome, provided your ball screw is you know, of decent enough quality. Do remember, ball screws come in various grades. Lower grade ball screws will have some irregularities in the shaft, but you can always buy a better ball screw if you really wanted to to get rid of that funkiness. So, overall, I'm very pleased with the kit. It did a great job. I'm not paid or sponsored by this company whatsoever. Real money was spent on this kit and I think it's a step in the right direction. Tell me what you guys think in the comments. Until next time, see you guys in the next print.